Cindy Crawford is one of those people they talk about, a supermodel for all time. In 1995, she had no equal in the amount of fees received for seemingly easy work on the podium. Today, the name of the model has become a household name, they remember it when they want to give an example of a combination of beauty and practicality in one bottle. Childhood and Youth Cynthia Ann Crawford was born in February 1966 in the town of Dekalp, Illinois. The future American supermodel grew up in a family with a small income. Her father worked as an electrician, her mother worked as a nurse in a city clinic. In the family of the celebrity there were Englishmen, Germans and Frenchmen. In addition to Cindy, two other daughters, Chris and Danielle, grew up in the family. There was a son, Jeff, but he died at the age of three from leukemia. In the future, the girl did not change her surname precisely because her father dreamed of continuing the family and preserving the name of the Crawford family. Moreover, having achieved financial well-being, the model began to help the Department of Pediatric Oncology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation. As a child, Crawford and her sisters grew up in a homely, warm and calm atmosphere. The girls tried to please their parents. Chris played basketball, dad's favorite game, and Cindy brought excellent grades from school. In 1984, she received a certificate and entered the best university in Illinois, where she studied chemical technology. The girl studied so well that Northwestern University awarded her an academic scholarship. During this period, the head of the family, John Dan, became seriously ill. To help her family, Cindy started working part-time. One summer vacation, wanting to earn pocket money, she was picking corn on farmland and accidentally got a picture in a newspaper report about the harvest. This picture was seen by the famous photographer Victor Skrebineski. A man convinced a 16-year-old beauty to try her hand at modeling. And although her parents disapproved of this initiative, for the first time Cindy went against their will, going to Chicago. After a photo shoot with Skrebineski, she received an offer from the agency to work as a model in Manhattan and agreed. So in 1986, Crawford's model biography began. Modeling Business In 1986, Cindy took second place at the Elite Model Look Competition. She represented the New York agency Elite Model Management. A brown-eyed girl with parameters 86-66-89, brown hair and a memorable feature, a mole above the upper lip, began a rapid career ascent. As for the birthmark, in her youth Crawford was persuaded to remove it. The model did not agree, and the photographers removed this defect using Photoshop. The first glossy pictures of Cindy in Vogue and Cosmopolitan turned out to be without a distinctive feature. But then the brand seemed to compete in how to more interestingly beat this highlight, for example in an advertisement for chocolate, where the model seems to be trying to lick a mole. The first months of life in New York turned out to be difficult for the American. She learned to walk on the catwalk, professionally apply makeup and adhere to the strictest diet. Soon her pictures began to appear on the covers of famous magazines. In the 90 seconds, Crawford became a global supermodel. She shone on the catwalk, representing the most famous brands. For 10 years, starting in 1989, Cindy was the face of the cosmetics brand Revlon. Versace and Escada, famous hot couture houses, invited the beauty to cooperate. When it came time for Cindy's daughter, Kaya Gerber, to make her debut on the catwalk, the girl was presenting the Versace Youth Collection. Cindy is the first model who agreed to shoot nude for Playboy. She took the fifth place in the 100 Sexiest Stars of the Roman 20th Century according to this edition. And in 1997, Shape magazine recognized Crawford as the second place, after actress Demi Moore in the list of the most beautiful women in the world among 4,000 applicants. People magazine also included a celebrity in its ratings, putting it on the list of the 50 most beautiful people on the planet. From the late 80 seconds to the mid-90s Crawford was the host of the program House of Style on MTV. At the same time, she appeared in a Pepsi commercial. A video in which a girl dressed in short shorts drinks from a can was considered the sexiest in the history of advertising. In 2018, the model starred in a parody of this video which, like the first 26 years ago, was presented in the final of the National Football League Championship. In 2002, when the celebrity turned 36, she took the 26th position of the Maxim Hot 100 rating. 
In June 2017, Crawford participated in a new photo shoot. She posed on the beach and shared the results on Instagram. A year earlier, Cindy had already posted similar pictures when she was vacationing in the Bahamas with her husband. The catwalk star celebrated her 50th anniversary with the release of the book Becoming. Cindy shared her personal experiences, spoke without embellishment about the kitchen of the modeling business and how not to get lost in this whirlwind and get out of the top. Crawford's photos in 2018 graced the pages of Vogue Spain and Tatler, Harper's Bazaar Taiwan and Town and Country. She became the face of Acne Studios and reserved brands. The following year, Cindy starred in exquisite outfits for Porter Edit and El Italia. Cooperation with the Omega watch brand continued, to which the model remained faithful for two decades. In May 2021, pictures of the American supermodel graced the pages of Vogue magazine. In the photos, she appeared in several images, including a set of underwear. Training Fans believe that the figure and appearance of a supermodel are the most ideal in the world. When asked how to achieve perfection, Crawford answers, I never concentrate on the things I like about myself, I constantly think about what needs to be done, I work on myself every day. I really wanted to become slim, worried about my legs, arms, and my waist. And now I don't feel like a weak woman. Being beautiful is so difficult. In addition to modeling, Cindy has achieved commercial success by releasing fitness video tutorials. In 1992, she made an exercise video called Cindy Crawford, Shape Your Body, which was criticized by experts as unsafe, but gained great popularity with the public. This video was followed by others. In the late 90s and early 90s, the American continued to develop a set of exercises for young mothers and women who want to stay in shape. According to the supermodel, sports after childbirth is very useful, since such training allows you to bring the figure back to normal. Cindy told about it in the corresponding video called How to Achieve Perfection. A 10-minute morning exercise for weight loss and a training program from Crawford called The Secret of the Perfect Figure became popular on the web. It includes elements of gymnastics and aerobics, with which you can work out the main muscle groups and keep them in good shape. Films the American celebrity managed to try himself in the cinema. One of Crawford's first films was Fair Play, where she appeared as a female lawyer. This detective tape about KGB agents with a budget of $50 million turned out to be a failure. Both the audience and critics rejected the film. Cindy starred in the comedy series Frasier about a psychiatrist together with one of the highest paid actors on television Kelsey Grammer. In the melodrama Ellen, the model's partner was Ellen DeGeneres. The picture was similar in content to the previous one, telling in a humorous way about the daily worries of the main character. More notable was the alien sitcom 3RD Rock from the Sun. But even here Crawford limited herself to the role of a guest star, as in the drama 54, in which she played a VIP guest of an elite nightclub. The directors allocated much more screen time to Cindy in the film Descendants of Monkeys and colleagues on the set were more familiar to the audience. Vanessa Redgrave's sister Lynn and William Hurt. The heroine Crawford with her boyfriend and two other couples find out which of them the fortune teller predicted the breakup. Not without the participation of the fantasy star Wizards of Waverly Place, in which the main role was played by a young Selena Gomez and the sitcom According to Jim with James Belushi. In 2015, the media reported that the supermodel undertook to produce the film Icon, which tells about the rivalry of the world's leading agencies that make catwalk stars out of girls and boys, elite model management and Ford modeling agency. Cindy also became a guest star of a special edition of Friends. Besides her, Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, David Beckham and others starred as cameos in the long-awaited series of the sitcom. Personal Life Cindy's first spouse was actor Richard Gere. The marriage of celebrities was short-lived. The performer disappeared in Tibet, and the model was left alone. Three years later, the star couple divorced. There were no children in this marriage. In the spring of 1998, Crawford married restaurateur Randy Gerber. A year later, the couple had a son, Presley Walker. In 2001, there was a daughter, Kay Jordan, who works in the modeling business. At the end of 2018, the press reported that changes were coming in the personal life of the supermodel. She intends to divorce her husband. There has been talk about alleged problems in the family for a long time. 
The couple sold their homes in a Mexican resort and in Malibu, and Gerber got rid of his share in the business that he shared with George Clooney. Among the reasons for the discord, the media called the discrepancy of views on the future of children who followed in their mother's footsteps. Cindy supports her daughter and son in their quest to conquer the world, and the father is against such exploitation. However, apparently, the journalists jumped to conclusions, because in February 2019, the couple exchanged tender messages on Instagram, which people who dislike each other would hardly write. In addition, the whole family visited the 2018 Fashion Awards ceremony in London to congratulate Kaya on the title of Model of the Year. In April 2021, the American woman posted a touching post on Instagram congratulating her husband on his birthday, in which she called him the best dad and husband and confessed her love. Cindy has devoted a lot of time to charity. She has her own Little Star Foundation, which funds programs to create medicines for children with leukemia. Funds are also allocated for the maintenance of abandoned babies. At the end of 2022, in an interview, Crawford admitted that she was going through a midlife crisis, which prompted her to turn to a psychotherapist. With the doctor, the celebrity worked through mental trauma, became calmer about her own age, and in order to feel free and cheerful again, she and Kaya went to the Burning Man Festival. Cindy Crawford now. Now Crawford continues to lead a secular life, regularly posts on social networks. At the beginning of 2023, publications appeared in the press reporting on the experiments of the former supermodel with appearance. So, she appeared in front of fans in a picture from the sauna, captured without makeup. At the same time, the famous mole was not visible, which raised questions among netizens. In another picture that appeared on Cindy's Instagram account, the star showed the public how she would look with a torn bang. Not everyone appreciated such experimental approaches, some thought that Crawford was trying to resemble his young daughter. Some netizens wrote in the comments that it is better for a lady to stick to the traditional image and not change her appearance so dramatically.